Hey, listen, folks. Come on. All right. Oh my God. So, uh, yes, this is the five, five, fifth year anniversary of uh, Chanology in Minnesota. Is that right? Can someone explain the circumstances of this event? Uh, five years ago. Tom uh, Cruise jumped on a couch. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then he posted a video on YouTube. Yes, video. Talking about how, what a great man he was because of Scientology. And the Scientologist didn't like the fact that it was posted on the internet. So they got they got letters yeah, and very much decided the that point. they were going to mm -hmm. send cease and desist letters to people who were posting this video. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, a woman named Lisa McPherson was held captive by Scientology because of yeah. her belief she would not seek actual medical help. They kept her in a hotel. Yeah. And uh, a lot of families have been broken up with Scientology. Like I know a guy. Disconnection policy. Yeah, disconnection. The reason we wear masks is because of the fair game policy that the Scientologists have. Yeah, so, so they will find you, they will dox you, they will pick it outside your home, like much like the Westboro Baptist Church. Yeah. And make you look bad in front of your your nearby neighbors. Yes. So it, we're out here today because uh, five years ago we we decided that enough is enough. And we're going to stop this call, and we're going to stop all the calls, nice. including corrupt government. Some of us, some of us are just yeah. here for this. And, you know. But it, it, it's it's a blizzard, and uh, everybody's out here, man. Like it's pretty good turnout, considering uh, you know there's twenty some folks here. Like uh, you know, with this weather, not bad. Protesting is always really difficult in Minneapolis, in you know Minnesota in the winter, and uh, this is among the most difficult kind of days. Right. A lot of us are, are really patriotic about what we do, so we're here to uh, speak to the cult. Yeah. What's more? You want to hold the sign for a second? What, what will they do about it? Oh. This is the old Science Museum of Minnesota building. Um, I uh, I can definitely relate to that like issue of you know the, the Science Museum. Um, it. Uh, I mean, it was such a great place. It was a place where you learned things. It was not a place where you devolved into some kind of, you know, retro, like, authoritarian, kind of warmed over Aleister Crowley, like, crap. You know what I mean? The Minnesota Science Museum, there used to be a big iguana right there, and uh, it was awesome. Oh, come on, phone. All right. So, uh, yeah, this, this was... Um, the Omni Theater is behind this curved wall. Yeah. It was such a great science museum. I have so many good memories in this building, you know. I used to learn things here. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think that's a part of the bitterness here is that we had, a lot of us had a good time at the science museum back in the day. And uh, this is a travesty. What did they do to the musical stairs? That's what I want to know. There are musical stairs in the back of the new science museum. Yeah, and they did leave the series of tubes sticking out the side because of the Because we know it. Oh, they did? We all got on the We can get in! Those are <laughs> the tubes. We've been doing Rick Astley on the stairway all day long. Yeah. Alright, so what's on that? Uh, can I see your sign? Uh oh. What's the problem? Hold this. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Uh -oh. Sorry, oh, no problem. He's flying! <laughs> man train! Uh. Man train! <laughs> no. It'll keep you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I know you're right here. Right here. Yeah. 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 I have no idea. I didn't talk to anybody. <laughs> man train! Next time, can we all wear footies? They don't have a man chain permit. Alright. <laughs> So this is uh, downtown St. Paul. It is incredibly snowy. A classic look going on here. How's it going, YouTube? Good, good. You're uh, live on Bambuser right now. Oh, really? Yes. A high world. How yes. you guys doing out there? This good. is Minnesota Anonymous protesting the cult of Scientology. Scientology kills. It's short and to the point. Yes. Now, so what, um, what motivates you to come out here today? What motivates me personally yeah. is uh, going to a website called exscientologykids.com and reading the story of the one Kendra Wiseman who was raised in the cult of Scientology and left when she was 
I want to say 18 or so, Scientology forced her wow. parents to stop contacting her, stop calling her, yeah. because she wasn't part of the church anymore, and thus she was a suppressive person. A SP. That's what we are, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, and uh, I, only like a few weeks ago, I talked to somebody else who family grew up in Scientology. It's, uh, we got a plow. Like, so yeah. This is what we got today. We got snow plows. We got anonymous. We got snow. We got Scientology. It's All the elements. To a T. It's the weirdest way to interpret St. Paul I have yet found. <laughs> that you can't deny. But, um... Yeah. So, really, I, I talked to somebody, um... Woo! You know, I talked to somebody who, uh, like, one of their, their parents divorced, and one of them stayed in Scientology, and the other one didn't, and so that really put a whole wall in their family, mm -hmm. and uh, they had experienced being down, like, in Florida, being, like, weirdly confined, and, like, forced to run all the time, that's another punishment that's, that's, that, that they do. Like, uh, that sounds like the RPF, the, uh, or the, yeah, yeah, the RPF, the Rehabilitation Project Force, it's essentially their own yeah. form of forced labor. Yeah, yeah, the chain gang of that, yeah, exactly. exactly. Where the boiler suits, they have to run everywhere, yeah. they can't speak unless spoken to, that kind of thing. Yeah, so, so this kid, like, he requires some funny little tricks or whatever, like, he could, like, squeeze a point on his hand to, like, you know, sort of, like, acupuncture-type little tricks they teach everybody. Mm. I think that's how they get people in, though, is little shit like that that Hubbard never invented, but they kind of frame in a different way. Yeah, that's, you, know? you know? It was laid down by Hubbard. The techniques were laid down by Hubbard. If you ever read any of the books that he ever read, his biggest thing is that he goes through and he redefines all of these words. And yeah. every L. Ron Hubbard book has a glossary in the back with his definitions for words. Yeah. And the philosophy is if you don't understand the meaning of the word as L. Ron Hubbard puts it, it's called a misunderstood. And what it is is it's, according to them, a mental block that causes you to not be able to understand anything ever until that particular misunderstood yeah. has been rectified. So looks like we got a couple more arriving here. Yeah, no, maybe. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that I, person's I, got a sign. Or maybe they're a musician. They, they might be musicians. We get a lot of, lot of yeah. They're having a lot of musicians. Now. We're across from where uh, NPR broadcast the uh, prairie home chant earlier. Art cult, art cult. Like because there's fine art on this side and yeah. a cult on the other side. I thought fine that was arts and cult, and we got yeah. music and cult on that side. What happened was back when we used to protest them in Minneapolis, they were across the street from a Chipotle. So we yeah. say burritos, cult, burritos, <laughs> yeah. cult. But uh, unfortunately now the burritos are many, many blocks. That yeah. Way. There is a Jimmy John's over there. A couple oh, blocks, I'm feeling burritos today. Yeah. <laughs> but we're we're going to be making a run down there. Do you have any other questions for no, us? No, I think that like covers it. Yeah, I want to just kind of get around the block here and hang out and... I've streamed for a little bit before That's my phone great. runs out, but yeah. Is this, awesome. uh, is this also being recorded? Because I kind of like... Yeah, it yeah, yeah, this will be up on my channel. I'm a self-absorbed person like that. Yeah, I will, uh, I'll try to rip this down and put it on YouTube, like, yeah. creative comments. This guy knows what's up. Yeah. How's it going, mate? All right, man, how you doing? I'm doing all right. You staying warm? I'm trying to. We <laughs> all are. Yeah, I hear you, man. All right, well, I'm going to run around and say hi to these yeah, other guys. Good. <laughs> hey, you guys ever thought about getting one of the new faces? Oh, we tried, but they don't listen to us. Oh, they don't, huh? No. If they run a story on us, they might do. Oh, they do. Yeah. Yeah, they do that. That's why I'm streaming it live on the internet. Oh, no, they're not trying to run it down, they're not trying to yeah, okay, that's the space loose to the right person, too, man. Yeah, okay, then. This is to the right person and know what they're talking about. I'm going to be around here proving it. All right, then. Yeah, so I'm going to try to do a better job. Hey, you know, we're live streaming on the internet. I really like that sign, by the way. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that sign, by the way. Welcome to Winnesota, land of 10,000 laws. <laughs> so, uh, is this the uh, like five year anniversary? You guys started this Canology thing a long time ago. Can you kind of bring it full circle here? Like what, what that was about? <laughs> We're standing here in the snow 
Nobody on the streets, freezing our butts off, standing out of Scientology Org. It has definitely come around full circle. Except it's 60 degrees warmer this time, and that's not an exaggeration. Yeah. yeah. It's not too cold. would have been 54 years of Scientology. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what, what, is, what, what happens to people that get, like, abused by Scientology? I think people don't understand when Scientology gets its claws in you, like, bad shit, like, it starts to happen. I think, I, I think it, what Anonymous did really... What's that? Basically, you can't escape it. Once you get trapped into mm -hmm. it, you try to leave, and it's not going to be possible for you. That is how you will have your downfall if you get sucked into it. They yeah. will let you leave. Cults? Yeah, and like, as a feature with a lot of cults, they have a way of trying to wall you off from people that aren't really part of it so that you get sort of stuck in it. Is that kind of part of it? Disconnection policy. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you join Scientology, Scientology advises you to disconnect from suppressive persons in your life. This could be anyone. It could be your spouse if they disagree with Scientology. It could be your child. And that's why we say Scientology destroys families because it isolates like an abuser. They isolate you from your family and your support networks. And then when you're all alone, they can, you know, they can make you work hours. They can take every last dollar you have. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're out here protesting is, you know, Scientology, they're free to believe whatever they want. You know, a religion, this is a country where religious freedom is prized. The, the difference is that uh, religion should really be a choice, and someone should be able to leave when they want. And mm -hmm. here they, they do not allow people to leave. They use coercion, they use threats, they use their legal team to suppress critics to make, their, make themselves look better. They're not just this crazy celebrity cult at all. They're crazy mm -hmm. to leave an alien or whatever. It's, it's your neighbors here, and they get tax exempt status, a special tax exempt status. I mean, they can write off all their books and stuff as, as a, you know, a write off for their taxes. I mean, they can do yeah. all this stuff. Well, uh, I'm protected. And it's, it's all co yeah, it's all copyrighted too. So even if you were a member of Scientology, you get these books, you scan it on the internet, and they send like a blizzard of lawyers after you because every legitimate religion I know has lots of copyrighted like core like doctrine. Copyrighted doctrine. You go to any other place of worship, you ask what do you believe, they will show you every you know their books. Their like books. have a Bible. <laughs> Yeah, well, and, you know, and so I think it's not even that it's like a weird space opera, like it's kind of like Mormonism that way, like which has Planet Kolob, you know? But but it's 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 the, it's the weird like way to kind of isolate you from other people. That's the real threat. It's in the case of an abusive relationship, if you're isolated from your main support system, the people who are important to you, and you sort of develop a new family within Scientology, they become your everything. And once you have that, and once you're cut off from your main family, you become like that's how that works. It's harder to care than present. Like, people have burned bridges to Scientology. They, they take years for them to get out. It's hard for them to reconnect with family that they've been estranged from for years. Trying to tell your family that you can't because your religion won't allow that? Yeah. That is not religious freedom. That is the problem with religion. It's done a lot of great things throughout the years. Scientology is not a religion. It is a cult. Mm -hmm. Then they get taxes, their status, they're still protected by the church yeah, and they get, you know, they're not paying property taxes here in Imagine if Christians copyrighted the Bible yeah. and made you Let's pay for the forty thousand dollars for it. Yeah. Pizza Brigade is on its way. I guess it's this sign again. One. This sign is amazing. <laughs> That's my favorite sign. <laughs> <laughs> Spend me like a whole hour making it so great. I want to get this one too. Here, I'll get the backdrop. Yeah, we got like six viewers right now. Plus, I think it's I think it might be mixed into Global Revolution TV too. 
Yeah, dude. Oh, you look so good there. Did you say? No, no, I'm just thinking that nerd is not like punching on me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little tear coming down right there. That sucker punch is going to be so glorious. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think nerd has some practice in that. Yeah. <laughs> punching the guy? <laughs> so what what brings you down here today then? Oh, I just approach that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you guys came down five years ago. Were you, were you there five years ago? Okay. Cool. We're done. Okay. So what do you what do you see Anonymous as kind of being all about? Wow, a band hammer? That's incredible. Freedom of expression. Mm -hmm. And basically, as I'm sure you got the narrative earlier about mm -hmm. the increase of trying to be pulled from the internet. Yes. And of course, it's all came as a response to the attempt at censorship. Mm -hmm. And I'm, that's obviously something very much about freedom of expression. Mm -hmm. And no third party coming to the authority to undermine that. Mm -hmm. And this group right here is the ultimate in the trying to suppress freedom. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Both as a free speech and human rights issue. Did anyone speak of the RPF yet? Uh, RPF? The Rehabilitation Project Force. Oh, uh, yeah, I th the guy over there mentioned it. Yeah, they're weird little... I was saying that uh, I knew uh, someone who, like, told me that him and his parents, when they got in trouble, they had to, like, run around and do around manual labor, around. like, all this stuff. I was like, oh, jeez, you know? Yeah. And some of these some of these camps actually have barbed wire fences with the barbed folk. Wow. Ah, uh, goldfish. Yeah, goldfish. Gold Where's that? Uh, California. 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 I heard... I heard the Scientologists have like arms caches out in the desert. They do. They have guns. Yes, yes. In fact, uh, the leader, David Miscavige, has been known to fire pistols up in the air. And <laughs> oh, yes, yes. They do. They're very armed and deep. And mm -hmm. they're true believers who will. Yeah. In a worst case scenario, can't put the in the Well, and they're indoctrinated in some like apocalyptic shit. Yes, they do. You know? That like. By the way, I gotta show the internet this band hammer. They truly That's, believe they're liberated. Look at this. Fear the band hammer. The band hammer. <laughs> they hold Earth to be a prison planet. Mm hmm. And yeah. Pigak. Yes, yes. 75 million years ago in the uh, mountains of Hawaii, a bunch of aliens were trapped in the volcano and subsequently new. And those alien spirits continue to haunt the earth to this day. And every human being on Earth has got thousands of these spirits within them. Mm -hmm. And Scientology is the way of clearing that. Yes. Satan management yes. at a low, low price of only a gazillion dollars. Yes. Because you can't give that shit away for free. It's pushing, it's pushing about 400000 That's not exaggeration. Wow, well, well, yeah. Go off the ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. courses, the retreats, the books. Yeah. Yeah. Donations. Yeah. Please, uh... Does anybody, yeah, does anybody know how much money they really have, like, and what, like, how many people are really in it these well, days? They're tax exempt, so, yeah. they're, they don't have tax records that can be Well, yeah, and they got various shells, like the Religious Technology yeah. Center and some other yeah, shells. Yes, and a whole host of Yeah, fun. yeah, yeah, all the front group, spam, indie media, with all this, like, crap about human rights and, right. uh, and like marijuana like in Florida and shit like we had a fashion show for human rights and then at the end it's like this will this only works with Ron Hubbard you know and you're like yeah, god damn it rights, they're only talking to anti-psychiatry yeah and in a very unscientific fashion yeah it's like I don't like the idea of drugging everybody either like that's like a, an interesting point but they have the most like the worst possible response to that problem you know yes, yes. it's just yeah well because they want to be in the business of exploiting yeah, yeah. And even if that's what the psychiatrists were doing to begin with, it's not that they they they'd just be displacing them and, you know, taking off that racket themselves. And, you know, a lot of the psychiatric industry is here and actually does help people. But... Uh, and yes, maybe it's a little bit out of control. Yeah, you know, and uh, there... There is a corrupt thing where it's like, yes, let's fill everyone up with Ritalin. And it's like, no, no, instead of brainwash them and make them think they're all full of invisible aliens that they can pay $40,000 to manage. I'm surprised that it works, you know? But I think, I think 
Like, do you guys think that with technology, that that brought the old kind of phase of abusing lots of people to an end? No. Like, no, it's, it's really. I have a chance uh -huh. Natalie Hagamo's story. Uh -huh. She's a local ex Scientologist. H A G E M O. H A G E M O? Uh, okay. Yeah, we all we know all the main characters in this wonderful the corner. novella of tragedy, but Yeah. Yeah. Uh, her story is particularly nasty because they did things mm -hmm. to her daughter. Yeah. They did things to her that she does not talk about publicly. Uh huh. So yeah, well, I'm not going to go into that. That's her story yeah. to tell. But there's a lot of examples of this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Around here, it's not so bad. We've, got, we've met a bunch of Scientologists here. Most of them are pretty good people. You get uh, really only two pieces of work. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Where's yeah. Tara? I have no idea. He flaked out. What do you expect? <laughs> so, there are only really two pieces uh -huh. of work that we know of in here. And most of them are good people. people. They're just kind of... On edge. Yeah, yeah. They're being driven from above because this certainly does not pay for itself. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it wouldn't. It's we so. It, it kind of reminds me of this. There isn't this certain sort of style about it or whatever. Like, the ticket. That's the org. That's. Yeah. But. Volunteers in here get paid like a hundred. You just said the word volunteers. Yeah. <laughs> How much does a volunteer get paid? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm I don't not here on this volunteer contract. <laughs> <laughs> no, most so, of them, are, they're, they're good people, most of them. It's just, well, they keep getting pushed from above, and that's where their money's coming from. And they keep being told, you know, this is how to basically save the world. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. So you gotta keep doing this. You gotta keep doing this. And when they run into things that don't seem yeah. right, yeah. they kind of push it out of their mind. They kind of double their efforts to try to make up for that feeling that something's yeah. not quite right. The cognitive this dissonance. Weird, this weird schizoid thing going on with a lot of yeah, there. yeah. It's a, it's a, it's just a weird example, you know. It's, it is unique in a strange way. Uh, in terms of scale and style, I mean, like, like the way the lettering is in this building, like, the funny, like, logos and stuff, you know, it, to really rope people in and all the, I don't know, it's just a weird style, man. It, it's definitely unique. Rope people in, they've had more traffic today than we have seen them outside of basically anything but a special mandatory event. Like, today's been a high traffic day, and you can kind of see what that means. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we're, we're up on Global Rev. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that Global Revolution TV, original <laughs> Occupy Wall Street live stream channel. So we have a lot of anonymous buddies that like to tune in. So I hear your butt buddies are watching. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> all right, so uh, all right, now that we're on, yeah. So I should I should run it down from the beginning. So we're it's been five years since Minnesota Anonymous protested uh, Scientology in, but it was in Minneapolis five years ago. Yeah. Okay. And so they, they closed that place in Minneapolis, and now we're in St. Paul, and it is snowing like hell, but there's still a good turnout, like, there's, like, 20-some people around, like, not too bad. Some of them were out to get pizza. That's true. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of people went off for pizza, they better, so... They better bring some slices to me, because I am a hungry boy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and like you, like you were just saying, like, you come to know a lot of, like, local Scientologists, and you're not saying that... Those are really horrible people, but you know, like a lot of bad things that have gone down, like even around here, like it's Scientology has played a part. Is that basically like kind Pretty of? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Uh, there, like I said, there are only two actual people in there that honestly have a cubicle in hell waiting for them. Most of the rest are really nice people. Mm -hmm. uh, really down to earth, a lot of them, and the rest of them are just, you're protesting my religion, get out of my face, which is perfectly understandable. Yeah. But most religions don't, like, try to split families this way. It's not, it's not, like it's not even, it's about the abuse of practice of the organization. It's not yeah. about the beliefs. It's about the yeah. yeah. Yeah, people, people regularly come up to us and go, this country has freedom of religion. Well, yeah, we don't mind what they believe. They can believe whatever they want. We don't bother the free zone, which is yeah. Scientology. We don't care about them, whatever. It's the illegal actions. It's the abusive behaviors. It's manipulation and fraud exploitation. Yes, perfect word. That's yeah. what we're concerned about here, and honestly, 
we're not good people, they're worse. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's questionable. Right, right. There's no question about that. I have a fine, upstanding American Dude, citizen. This man has a bad hammer. Give me a, give me a, give me a, no, oh, no, you no, broke it. You do not take my Patriot right. Matt. And then here, we got live on the big station, so I just... Look, look at his face and tell me we are not patriotic, law-abiding citizens. Look at this. Yeah. Real I'm American. I'm this country. We have the spirit of America. We are a country that enslaves people <laughs> for freedom. <laughs> Most righteous of causes. I believe in freedom over religion. But you that know, building there does not house a religion. Hey, that's what's in the Bible today. Santa. <laughs> All right. I just love that sign. Uh, this is on Global Revolution TV, so and my own like Bambuser channel. So yeah, it's definitely circulating. Oh uh, yeah, probably like you know a few dozen. So you know. Oh my God, I'm famous. Yeah, yeah. Multipliers. Yeah, I got six people on my own channel too. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. We're were you there five years ago? I was. I was at the very oh. first one. Negative 40 windchill. I'll never forget it. Wow. Yeah, that, that was over in Minneapolis. Yep, and, uh, them off. <laughs> oh, you know. Oh. Stuff like this. Oh, it's a they, they, they broke the van hammer. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and do you feel like that made a difference? Like that it raised yeah, awareness it about this whole thing? Oh, yeah, definitely. There, uh, I was actually talking to a former member of this church, Natalie, uh, and she said she saw a Google alert on her name on Why We Protest, which is the main, like, organizing site, and that was what led her to start looking into all the stuff about Scientology, and that's what led her, you know, that's kind of the initial doubt that, like, led her to, you know, question things. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's plenty of examples of that where the protest, you know, would just get someone curious, they'd look it up online, and there's just it's all out there, so once they start looking, yeah, you know, you're not going to stop. It just gets worse and worse the more you find out. So, yeah, and, and I think if, if it wasn't for people like anonymous to kind of be publicizing that stuff, then right. these people wouldn't know. It was a lot easier for them to slide by with this kind of thing and totally get away with it and sort of silence people. Yeah, even five years ago, the media was pretty much afraid to do stories on Scientology because of how much they would get harassed every time and sued yeah. and everything. And uh, so that was a big, a big part of the protest was just the stories about the protest like made it more acceptable to write about and more and more big, big like magazines and newspapers would start writing about it and yeah. it kind of broke the silence, which is a good thing. Yeah, that's cool. So. Um, do, you, do you think that, like, aside from like the issues of Scientology, do you think that Minnesota Anonymous is going to engage in other different issues? Do you think they keep doing this once in a while? Or? Uh, not as Minnesota Anonymous. Our individual members are free to do what they want, but the sole goal of Minnesota Anonymous is to protest the cult of Scientology. Okay, cool. Was there anything else you wanted to add about this momentous half-decade occasion? It's been five years. It's been a while. Yeah, I mean been a big part of my life, I have to say, you know, I've known these people for five years, many of them, and they're all friends, so... Known in a biblical sense. <laughs> yeah, that, that too. But, uh, I would just say, protest something, because it's really fun, and you'll meet amazing people. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Do you want to talk about why you're here? Yeah. All right. Well, basically... I, I grew up in a cult, right? Mm -hmm. A friend of mine was telling me about how bad Scientology was, messed up, and I was like, you know, I grew up in a cult, I grew up in a cult, I really want to get into a fallen, fallen hero. So you one person that passed away because of this? Uh, no, he passed away because he didn't wear a helmet or something more. Oh, okay. He, yeah, he, he died. But he uh, was there at all the raids for three years, three yeah. years of death, and uh -huh. having a there wheel of time, and pretending to be the leader so the cult could attack him instead so, of us. Soviet. Okay. Soviet? Soviet shark. Soviet shark. Soviet shark. Nice. Cool. Good thing you got that bagged up in the snow here. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. So, so you grew up in a cult, you so said. I grew up in a cult, and my friend was like, yeah, that was really bad. And I, I, and there's hundreds of cults that are all stupid and horrible. And so I went to prove my friend wrong, and 
Oh my word, Scientology is really, really bad. <laughs> I literally took all of the bad things of all the other cults and put them in one cult. Yeah. And I'm like, what? How is this legal? I mean, at a certain point, you just say this shouldn't be legal. This, this is like the final boss of cults. It's <laughs> like, let's, let's go and do that. I, w I wasn't even involved with the whole 4chan, the, the B card stuff. I wasn't yeah. involved with in that. I was just like, let's go. Let's just shut them down. Yeah. So, so um, at that time, there was there was something called uh, fair game, or there still is really, where, where if you're an enemy, you're considered a fair game, and that was what spurred people to wear masks kind of initially, isn't that true? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's still technically around, it's just... They use it far less because their their enemies are so numerous. They can't hire enough to private private investigators. Yeah. He was protesting Scientology. I can't hold it. I got it. Well, actually, hold on. I need to shelter, I, I need to shelter my phone. Uh, yeah. So, what which cult did, were you involved with? I was involved you know, with one called the Worldwide Church of God, also known as Armstrongism. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I found out that fellow anon. We're on the well, I right gotta now. interrupt you for a moment. Also, time to factor. So, Mennonite, hold it up right, hold it up right. Mennonite, gather around. It has been five years since those beautiful, Please beautiful eyelashes were coated in frost and icicles. He may have been a racist, homophobic, self-absorbed, narcissistic bastard who the world is better off without. He was but, but by God, he was a hell of a Mennonite. And we will miss him and his glorious faggotry. Sasquadanya, comrade. Sasquadanya. Alright. Soviet died in a car accident. Mm -hmm. He was on a motorcycle. He'd show up in full Russian regalia. Yes. Yeah. Baklava and everything. Yeah. He died. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up in the same cult I grew up in, which is like what? where was it? Small world. Uh, well, it's called World War II Scott, so it was worldwide. It's based uh -huh. out of Pasadena, California. Okay. But yeah, it was a cult, much like many of them. So. Mm -hmm. I know. So there was an hour after one o'clock. Yeah, but not after like four. The hat. So we are technically out of the law. Oh yeah. Okay. I thought. By the wording of the survey. Yeah. It's not very really loud about our little tribute there. Uh, yeah. Comrade Soviet Shark used to be our, our yeah. glorious nominal leader in an organization with no leaders. He was absolutely reprehensible to human beings. My God, he was a hell of a nod. Yeah. He, he you say that, that guy that kind of take the heat or whatever? No, no. Yeah. They got to stand there and look beautiful and go, fuck you guys. Yeah. That's basically it. He was... A hell of a lot of fun, just not someone who you could bring into polite company. <laughs> wow, the snow is still coming down. Nice. Like that. We started this business in 40 below. We got yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. As soon as the it's music like, gets here, this business is coming off. It. I'm overdressed for this party. <laughs> Do the pain. We got the uh, we got an RSVP from our. Uh, Cheese faggots over in Whiskland. Oh, nice. And unfortunately, with yeah, the weather as it is, they're just not as hardcore as us. Uh, we're 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 made of ice, wind, and balls of steel. They're they're, they're cheese. Yes, yes. 
they're, they're kind of cheesy and soft, but that's okay. We'll see them next time. So they were supposed to bring the sound system, or those, those oh, are the guys no. that just took off? The, the, the people from Wisconsin were supposed to be here as well, because mm -hmm. Wisconsin isn't really a real state, so they kind of attached themselves to us. True. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, no, the guy with the sound system, he'll, he'll be here. He's a little late, though. Yeah. We'll give him a talking to about that. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I have my own troubles navigating, so I think I will pull the live stream for now. But this has been five years of Chanology at the Church of Scientology. Blizzard, snow, cold. Not as cold as five years ago. Well. Mm hmm. Did you I did see that. And this awesome mask.